Everett Bornstein to send it away, and Chris Smith, the dangerous return man, awaits back deep. Smith dropped it, recovers, has the 20. Still going, 30-yard line. And taken out of bounds, shy of the 35. Lewis, soft play action. Floats one into the end zone. Wide open, Jalen Williams. The former professional baseball player. They call him old man. 25 years old, and old man Williams, the first score of the game. Off by great presence in the pocket right here from Levi Lewis. A little bit under duress off of the play fake in the backfield. Changing the pace a little bit for the bowl game here after being off for a month. Harris again to the air. Rolling out to his left and it's caught along the near sideline. Forward lean to his running style. Off play action. Harris chased. Throws on the run and intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Percy Butler. And that's what this Louisiana secondary can do to you. Things happen. When you throw back across your body, bad things are going to happen. On third and two, Lewis steps up on the wheel route. Chris Smith, he's got great speed, and he is deep into UTSA territory. Here's Smith to the outside. He's got a first down, and then Amtrak's his way inside the 15. The game was canceled, and the Sun Belt said the two teams would be co-champions. McCormick, the Conference USA Offensive Player of the Year with a gain. Once more on the ground, Mitchell breaking tackles. And a red zone opportunity for Louisiana. No fake this time. And Almondaris adds three for Louisiana. Quarterback is the plus one when you want to when you have got to defend quarterback run. And there's Harris again on the zone read. First down and takes it out of bounds inside the four. Ends up being a gain of 15. First down and 10 for UTSA. And sincere McCormick. No, it's Frank Harris. Oh, the defense went for three. Harris saw the quarterback run. His fourth rushing touchdown in the last four games, and UTSA is on the board. Quarterback run, because right now they don't have one. There's nobody to account for the quarterback. They can account. Errol Rogers in motion. On the ground once more. Mitchell using the stiff arm. Breaks free. And Mitchell inside the 30-yard line. And a haymaker. Yeah, and Harmonson right there, number 15. We just mentioned him. One of those inside guys filling in for Jamal Ligon. Misses the tackle. It would have been a one-yard. Lois wants six. He wants Lacey. And the true freshman hauls it in. Freshman receivers, all of whom have made an impact this season. Some linebackers, they've been gashed up the middle by Louisiana. Harris dropped the ball, it comes out. That's a live ball, and it's picked up by Louisiana. Farad Gardner with the, the fumble the recovery. It's a backwards pass recovered by Louisiana. First down. Well, this is just an unfortunate muff of the shotgun snap. It's a low snap. Frank Harris can't secure the ball. Elijah Mitchell, touchdown, Raging Cajuns. Nice job securing it. And of course, just to hand the football off and do what they do best, and that's run the football between the tackles at this Roadrunner defense now. Really, when you're not concerned about a quarterback beating you downfield. Well, you make sure you account for him. Or you do that. Yep. Farad Gardner, who had the fumble recovery at the start of this quarter, comes up with a sack. Top of COVID and a pandemic. Seven wins, four losses, 
And I think win or lose, this is going to be the best season in program history. And if you're just joining us, Jeff Trailer again, not at the game, not on the sidelines. He had a positive COVID test Wednesday, a subsequent positive test, confirmed it. Ball has popped out, and it's picked up by UTSA and Harmonson. UTSA now plus nine on the season. And what a great effort by Guidry. Again, another got to move the pocket and change the launch point like we saw in the first quarter and saw right there. Again to the air. Harris saluting the pursuit. He's got a first down and more and tumbles down at about the 35 yard line, a pickup of 15. Harris zings one downfield. Franklin high points it and makes the catch for a TD. The difference between this throw and the previous downfield throws is Frank Harris actually gave his target. I see a different Justin Fields than the one we saw versus Indiana and Northwestern, there's no doubt. Elijah Mitchell with a big opening. And taken out of bounds across the 40-yard line. Nichols got himself a really good football team. Frank Harris will keep it and run it, hurdling a defender. Looking like Rob Roy at Coulter Byrne. <laughs> Over to the sideline in blue. Harris off play action. Downfield. Hits his man in stride. It's Franklin again. He's got a 100-yard game. Chance for the Roadrunners. Best throw of the day for Frank Harris. And right now, they football and then use the movement of the pocket here in the red zone with Harris. Harris saw the slant end zone. Touchdown, UTSA. Joshua Cephas. It's like he's gone into the, the phone booth or the Steve Rogers chamber. He certainly has. And look at where the ball is thrown. It's thrown low. Today was fine on a punt after the struggles last time out against App State. Punt is taken by Sheldon Sticks Jones. Ball comes out at the end. It's picked up. Can't advance a muffed punt, but I think he's down. The question is, was he down? A lot of time this year after breaking his collarbone early this season. Gives it to McCormick. Huge hole. McCormick, the stiff arm. And he is out of bounds in Louisiana territory. McCormick has himself a 100-yard game. Credit UTSA's offensive line. That's really done a nice job. Pro um, opportunities to where their eyes are forward in the defensive backfield. Oscar Cardenas. Flag down the tight end, just his third catch of the season. Missed his only attempt today. Hits the chip shot from 20. Pressure coming. Lewis read it. Mitchell, great block on the perimeter. Cuts it back. Midfield, still going. And Elijah Mitchell all the way down close to the 35. Off the right hip of Lewis. Regis powers in, and Louisiana back on top. And the push that the offensive line got and continue to push. Elijah Mitchell, number 15. Passed Iowa State's Brees Hall today for the national lead in rushing yards. Harris throws, has an open Leroy Watson. And how about the piano playing tight end? Barging into Louisiana territory. Now Trey Regis, first down inside the 40, and Louisiana just has to put the ribbon and wrapping paper on this one. That incredible tandem with Trey Regis in the backfield. Here's Regis, spins free, stiff arms parks, and gets down to the 15-yard line. And it puts the capper on a 10-win season. Co-champions in the Sun Belt, a win against Iowa State to begin the season, the lone loss 
was to an undefeated Coastal Carolina team. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.